Face is notoriously one of those concepts that's super difficult for foreigners to understand. So I decided to sit down with my friend Connor and ask him some questions about what is face. Uh, naturally, this is the face. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. Why do we gotta make this so complicated? So actually for ch in China, face is more means means like if I lose my face, it means I like feel very awkward or very embarrassed in public. Now maybe they feel down in public, they'll feel lose their face. When someone like criticizes them in public, they will also feel lose their face. Okay, so after hearing that initial description, you may be tempted to think, I already know what face is. Face is whenever you feel embarrassed or awkward, someone picks on you and you just feel like, I wanna go and run away, like no one look at me, right? And in a sense you would be right, that's definitely the way Americans think about face. But in China, it's not just that you're trying to protect your own reputation or protect your own face, but people here are also operating under the grid of honor and shame. So they're trying to say what will bring honor to our group or what will bring shame to our group. Let's listen to Connor talk about it some more. We are like a bigger, group, like a bigger family, like if any one of them makes the family any make the family feel ashamed, they will feel the whole family will be shameful. Um, of course, if you can honor the whole family is the same way, then you will honor the whole family. Like if I work so hard and study hard, is that, that means I want to honor my family and honor my ancestors. So that means I won so much faith for my whole family. Okay, so what we can learn from Connor's description here is that face is a little bit different than anything we have in America, simply because more players are involved. It's not just, am I building up my reputation or am I doing something kind of dumb, but it's, am I bringing honor to my family or am I shaming them? This same principle is why our students are studying so hard in the school and why our Chinese friends might feel a little awkward or embarrassed whenever we do something that most Chinese would say is a little bit shameful. Like last time when I hang out with some Americans, they just sing all the way and dance all the way like so many Chinese other Chinese visitors just showing some weird looks at us so I feel kind of awkward in the middle but they feel very okay like okay I just dance just singing and I just enjoy my trip all the way like but for me I just feel kind of awkward <laughs> actually so this feeling or kind of embarrassment that Connor seems to be expressing really reminds me of the Chinese sentiment that people need face like a tree needs bark so we've got to ask ourselves, if face is this important in Chinese society, how can we make sure that our actions are not causing our friends to lose face? Usually there is a very famous saying that goes like, when you are your own, do I, what I do, like do as the Romans do, right? <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> so uh, I think it's the best way for foreigners who come to the China for the first time, just to see how, how the Chinese people react to something. Chinese people tend to like hear more about what other people think. So if you st like stand from their angle, like just think from their own way, they will feel much better. Throughout our conversation, Connor gave me several examples of common ways that people lose face. Maybe it's being criticized in public, being ignored when it's a group of friends talking, or even when they feel like their English is not good enough to talk to you. He also gave me some ideas for showing people face, such as taking them out to a big meal or praising them in public, but not too much. I think the principle here is to remember that in Confucian society, there's a social hierarchy and within that hierarchy, people have certain responsibilities. So if someone is of higher status than you, make sure that you give them face and praise them for what they do. And the same thing is make sure you're fulfilling the responsibilities of whatever role you have within your relationships. All right, so that's all for this video. I just wanna thank you so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something. And I'm really looking forward to continue to make these kind of videos in the future and continue to learn more about Chinese culture together. So if you're interested in that, I encourage you to subscribe using the red button somewhere down below. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.